hurry up and get your stick. Two-year-old male with chronic pain all over. This is the favor? I was expecting something involving whipped cream and tongue depressors. He's seen seven different specialists over three years. No diagnosis and no relief. Oh, I am fascinated already. It's like I'm treating myself. He gets cured and I get to learn a valuable lesson about the milk of human kindness. If I thought you learned lessons, I never would have quit. So you're wasting a favor because... I think you can help this guy. Drug-seeking patients... Don't attempt suicide with medicine cabinets full of narcotics. Sounds like fibromyalgia. Sounds like you don't work for house. Diagnosis that provides neither an explanation nor a cure is by definition not a diagnosis. The American College of Rheumatology would disagree. There are specific diagnostic criteria. Which this guy doesn't meet. Putting pressure on his pain helps, doesn't make it worse. He's got abdominal pain, severe headaches, muscle cramps that come and go. And he tried to off himself. He's obviously mentally ill. Pain's probably psychological. It is not a sign of mental illness to want to be pain free. It is if your solution is sucking on a tailpipe. Same people don't attempt suicide. Not ever. So if you were being burnt at the stake and someone handed you a gun? I'd shoot the guys with the torches. Not one doctor this guy's seen in the past three years has been able to find a single thing wrong with them. What does that tell you? It means they're idiots. It means we gotta start from the beginning. we we'll do a pain profile to rule out psychosomatic pain. Search the home, go home, get a refill. And a donut. I'll help with the home. Choose the statement in each group that best describes how you've been feeling lately, including today. I'm not depressed. I know what I did was stupid. I usually sleep well. I have some trouble with sleep. I have a lot of trouble with sleep. I have a lot of trouble. It's up and down. Between the pain and the meds, his sleep pattern is pretty erratic. He's a calm person. He's more nervous than most people. He's so nervous, he's miserable. He's definitely calm. Sometimes calmer, the worse the pain gets. They think talking, interacting with other people actually makes it worse. Interesting. Why, does that mean something? No, it's just, we've seen that in other patients. He can do chores around the house with help. He can do chores. He no longer can do chores. He helps all the time. He's really strong. He used to play hockey. He was really good, too. I believe there's hope. Hoping for things to get better is a struggle for me. Most of the time, I feel completely hopeless. He still laughs. All the time. He was always optimistic. Still is. It's just... It's harder now. I guess... I pray for strength more than hope. I do not let it be what his father has. I think he's faking. How dare you? What makes you think? How's the kids in this excruciating? Where is it? Where's what? His idiot son distracted the orderly so that Daddy Deathwish here could down a bottle of isopropyl. 
Get him on dialysis for in half an hour, he'll be a corpse. You're hurting me. Remember the feeling. I mean, next time you want to help Pops, you'll do a better acting job. You can't help him. Zach, Zach, why did you do this? Because he's not dead anymore. He just wants it to be over with. Oh, please, please, just, just let him die. It's not working. I know. I started him back on the pain meds. Which means you can leave. My son was right. I've tried for so long to protect him from... But I'm the one who's been selfish. This is no way for him to live. Until we get an answer, it's the only way. There is no answer. There's always an answer. Then what is it? He's been here four days. Three suicide attempts. You don't have an answer. When I saw you, when I saw the cane, I thought, thank God, the doctor will understand. Because I sure as hell don't. My husband thinks it's over. So look me in the eye. Tell me you'd want to live like that. and stabilize him. Get him in decent enough shape for the drive home. <laughs> so he can finally... Lock up on your way out. Don't touch the piano. Testicles. What do they make you think of? STDs, testosterone issues, that summer on Fire Island. Oh, so close. Correct answer is epilepsy. Epilepsy doesn't cause chronic pain. It does if it spreads to the sensory region in the brain, then rewires the pain neurons. Would have shown up on an EEG. Not if the seizures are in a place you can't see on an EEG, a place too deep in the brain, like the area that controls the muscles supporting the... testicles. Feels like you got kicked in the nuts, doesn't it? The abdominal pain, how it all started. It wasn't the stomach. It was lower, right? It's everywhere. When it first started? It started in the stomach. Cramp. You know, like bad gas or a permeating pain. Like your kidneys are being pulled out through your scrotum. Why? Because epilepsy is treatable. Looks like we shot the guys with the torches. 